Dubai announces an $8.7 trillion economic plan and oil prices rebound after a rough start to the year. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Dubai has announced an $8.7 trillion 10-year economic plan. The new economic agenda, named D33, aims to double the size of Dubai's economy and place it among the top three economic cities in the world. Foreign trade will reach $6.81 trillion during the next decade. Dubai will also add trade corridors with 400 new cities around the world. Dubai's economic agenda includes 100 transformative projects. The Emirate also plans to attract FDI at around $191 billion within the decade. Oil prices rebounded this morning after opening the year down more than 9%, the worst yearly start in over three decades. Investors took advantage of the decline to buy futures on expectations long-term fuel demand will remain steady. The bounce back followed two days of steep declines as investors worry about a global recession and consumption in the world's two biggest oil consumers, the U.S. and China. Brent crude futures traded in the $78 range while West Texas traded in the $73 range. Samsung Electronics quarterly profit will likely plunge 58% to its lowest in six years as the global economic downturn saps demand for electronics and clouds the outlook for the memory chip industry. Smartphone makers and other clients reduced memory chip orders while smartphones sold for less as demand suffered. Samsung is the world's biggest maker of memory chips, smartphones and TVs. Refinitiv estimates its operating profit will likely fall to $4.62 billion billion dollars in Q4, its lowest quarterly profit since Q3 2016. ExxonMobil has signaled another strong operational profit of about $15.4 billion for Q4, pushing it toward a record for 2022. The largest U.S. oil producer indicated in a securities filing a cooling from its massive profits from the prior quarters. But preliminary operational results confirmed 2022 was Exxon's best financial year, with profits of around $58 billion. Formal earnings are due on January 31st. Amazon will cut over 18,000 jobs, citing the uncertain economy and the fact that the online retail giant hired rapidly during the pandemic. This includes the 10,000 layoffs announced in November. Officials say they're deeply aware that these role eliminations are difficult for people and they don't take these decisions lightly. The impacted workers will be informed starting January 18th. The retailer hired massively during the pandemic to meet an explosion in demand for deliveries, doubling its global staff between 2020 and 2022. And the EU privacy regulator has fined Meta $414 million, accusing it of illegally forcing users to agree to receive personalized ads based on their online activity. It's a potential major hit to the platform, which plans to appeal. It says Meta's legal consent within the terms of services forces users to accept these targeted ads. This violates the EU's general data protection regulation, which governs the collection of personal information. Meta says it disagrees with the ruling and it plans to appeal. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.